Respect! Put some respect on my name! What's up, Jay Riders? It's your girl Justine, and I'm back with another video. Good morning, guys. Uh, you already know where we're at. We're at our favorite coffee spot. We at Star BZ. Um, guess what? Today they got a new drink out, which is not really a new drink. I'll tell you about it when I get away from this noise. One moment. Thank you, have a good day. Okay, so, where's my one up? They got a new drink out. It's, um, it's called a white chocolate macadamia cream cold brew. Let me taste it. Did I ever have this before? I don't even know if I ever had it before. Um, white chocolate and, and macadamia go good together. Let me step outside real quick because I want to see, do I need a car wash? I don't know. I be feeling like I'm riding dirty and I don't like riding dirty, y'all. Let me see. The rims and everything. Look at that. The rims is dirty. I'm trying to thank the car. I got these rubber mats now. That's easy to wipe down. I'm trying to think the car is dirty. Oh, it's hard for y'all to tell. You get these certain kind of paint jobs, but you could tell, look at that little little dirt mark right there i can see a little dirt mark right there i can tell it's dirty y'all just probably can't tell uh, i don't know I feel like, oh let me check the grill once wait a minute see that that's is that dirt dirt what the fuck is that oh uh, hmm I think it's dirty and you can kind of tell like around in this area too okay let me get on up in here uh. I don't know my car look dirty what y'all think what y'all think <laughs> so I don't know I need to get a go get a I ain't rich enough to chill out. I ain't rich enough to chill out. So why the hell do I be chilling? Huh? Why the hell do I be chilling when I'm not rich enough to be chilling out? <sighs> I need a vacation. I just want a different scenery. I need to just go somewhere and think. That's how I feel. Anyhow. All right, y'all. Today is a very beautiful morning. And we're getting out here in these streets. Because that's what we do. We got to make the coins today. We make coins over here at any mean possible. Okay? As long as I'm not hurting nobody. And as long as I'm not doing nothing illegal. You know what they say, all money ain't good money. Facts. All money ain't good money. Am I gonna make the light? Oh, I'm not gonna make the light! So, let me wipe this up. 
Y'all, it's crazy out here on this internet. This internet stuff is, this internet stuff is crazy. So they got like Kendrick Lamar and, and Drake going at it. It's like beef with them. It's crazy out here. Everybody got beef. Everybody got something going on. There's somebody talking about somebody. They're talking about Chris Sean Baby. They're talking about Drake and Lamar. They're talking about Diddy. They're talking about every everybody is going to get talked about. You understand me? Hell, they talked about me. They talked about me in school, out of school, on the internet, off the internet. Hell. <laughs> so, basically, what I'm saying is, you're going to get talked about one way or another. And, I don't know. Sometimes it could be good, and sometimes it could be bad. I look at it like this. If I'm going to be talked about... I want to be talked about in a good kind of way. I don't want to be talked about in a bad kind of way. But people will find a way to talk about you bad. You know, I've been um, talked about a lot. Even on here on my own damn channel, okay? People will label me as gold digger. All kind of crazy stuff. So, and, and, and guess what? I ain't dug no gold. I never met a rich person to take care of me. But I was always labeled as a gold digger. <laughs> And never even met nobody with the gold. Shit, where they at? Where, where they at? And then where they at now? If I'm a gold digger, they supposed to be taking somebody supposed to be taking care of me. Where they at? So you can't really get mad and upset. Let people have their opinion and, and say what they want to say. I always feel like, well, I know me and I know better. So what difference does it make? I know who I am. I'm a, I know what I'm capable of doing. I know what I'm about. And that's just my little morning rant and my little message today. Only you know you, okay? Who cares what anybody else say? Sometimes people just think of something negative to uh, say just to be talking about you because they don't like something about you. Okay? Just remember that. They're going to talk about you at work. They're going to talk about you at school. They're going to talk about you everywhere you go. They can talk about you at school because you're smarter than them. So, they can talk about you at work because you know your job better than they know their position. Or you got more experience than they do. So, just remember that. Anywho, let me get to my destination because y'all know I don't like to to be on here holding this camera and on this highway. So I'll talk to y'all in a few. Uh, I'm leaving McDonald's, grabbing my grandson something to eat. Look, I picked him up from school. He knocked. <laughs> he look like he about to have a crook in that neck. <laughs> All right, let me get ready to take him home and I'll be back. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm just sitting here watching my girl Peyton. But um, I had warmed me up some rice, this some Spanish rice, and that ground beef taco I made for Seco de, de Mayo or whatever. So I'm gonna sprinkle some lettuce on here. Some lettuce, baby. Some lettuce. And then I'm gonna sprinkle some Ooh. And then I'm going to get on my good old It's hard for me y'all I'm trying to do all this with two hands my One hand holding the camera The other hand getting busy Okay But anyways I'm putting some sour cream This should look good don't it <laughs> This look good and Then I'm taking some taco sauce Hold on now how I'm gonna do this? Hold on, how I'm gonna do this? Put y'all between the arms, okay? The armpits, okay? Got the salsa. Oh, that's too much. That's way too much salsa. And then I got an avocado. That's like a little half left. I'm, I'm using it, yeah, I am. Ain't no wrong with the damn avocado. Now, how am I going to get the avocado out? I'm going to have to put it back between my arms. Hold on. Okay. You know, when you had a, when you was a mother, when you was a, um, 
when you was a mother and you had all these little kids, you you cooking with one hand and holding your baby with another and all that, you knew how to make it work. So baby, I'm I have to make learn how to know how to make it work, okay? So there go my little pieces of avocado. Okay. That's it. Look at that. And I basically got me like a little taco salad without the, you know, the shells right there. So I just want it like this with the rice and stuff. So I'm done with this. And then I'm probably going to put some like little black pepper right there. And maybe some hot sauce. Maybe some Franks. But this is what I'm about to eat. So I just want to show y'all what I was making. I put a little black pepper on the top, as you can see right there. So I put a little black pepper right there on the top. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. And then I got my little Franks. Y'all sliding, hold on. Y'all sliding, hold on. So I can't stand, I need a new camera stand, I really do. I have a little hot sauce. I'm trying to hurry up before I slide again. So I put a little hot sauce. Y'all see, this is leftovers from Cinco de Mayo. I just didn't want the shell, but I just want to eat it just like this. Let me see how this tastes. I know it's the bomb because I had this already the other day. Mmm. 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 It's the bomb, y'all. It's the bomb. Mm-mm-mm. I gotta get something to drink. But I'm gonna continue eating this for a second. But I was just listening to Peyton, whatever. And she was talking about how she's getting ready to get a house built. And I'm so happy for her. I don't know how many subscribers she had when I first started watching her. But when I first started watching her, I was watching her. Next thing you know, I seen her one day trying to dress up for an interview. I don't know what happened with that energy but interview, but baby, I'd never seen her get the job, you know? And if she did get the job, she didn't tell us, but all she kept doing was vlogging. She never gave up. And she talking right now, like the place she at right now, how so many times she wanted to give up and good things she did. Cause just think if she would have, she would never knew like how far she could have got, you know what I'm saying? So I, I take, I, I remind myself all the time because sometimes you do get in a place where you want to give up. YouTube is not easy to grow. It's not easy. Some For some, it comes just like that. For others, you got to work hard, hard, hard. But you can't give up, you know? And you got to do whatever it takes to make your stuff different, thumbnails, your editing, your your vlogging, the way you vlog. You gotta change some things up to make yourself look interesting. So, anywho, she didn't give up, and now she's getting a home built. She was saying like it's gonna be ready in July, and I'm just so happy for her. Like I'm really truly happy for other people and their accomplishments, and it just makes me feel good because I know if I keep going, I, you know, I want to be in a space like that. She's driving a Porsche, she's driving a BMW, and I want to, you know, be able to, to have those type of luxuries that she has. So, don't give up on your dreams. Don't give up on whatever you're trying to accomplish. Tell yourself all the time, you got it, you can do it. Don't give up and encourage yourself. Read those affirmations, write them down. Like she said, the tongue is strong. You know, in the Bible it says, your tongue is your enemy. So if you speak bad things into in the air or out loud, baby, you're speaking bad things into your life. So be careful how you speak, okay? The enemy is your tongue. Remember that. So speak positive things. You got this. You can do it. Remind yourself all the time. I tell myself every day, I'm a millionaire. I'm rich. I'm I'm. I'm you know, my, I love my lifestyle. And, you know, I remind myself all the time. And even though I might not be in the place I want to be, but baby, I'm speaking it like I already got it. Okay? So, I'm sitting here in my room because I'm editing a video and I'm looking for this picture to put on my thumbnail. And then I ran across this video. This video, remember when I was telling y'all if I was to cloud chase 
if I if if I was saying I was clout chasing, this is the only person that could say I was clout chasing because I used to make videos about him all the time. So, anyways, I screen record something he said. I didn't even realize that was in my phone, so I was just looking at it right now. So let me go ahead and play that real quick. <laughs> I want to play what y'all had what he had to say about me. Okay. Yeah. Let's see what he had to say. Let me pull it up. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Ooh, this is too funny. Damn, I screen record that in 2019. You know this is old. This is when I was doing reactions about him. But anyways, uh, let me see what he had to say. Wait, hold on. Wait a minute. Thanks. Wait, let me cut. Here we go. Is it coming through? Say something to get my thoughts about what something he did. This her mama. Her mama is a her mama is a different breed of cougar club chaser. <laughs> It's clear as day who you get it from. But your mama actually cool. She just don't know better. Mom Dukes, you cool. You got a pass with me. You just doing, you just, you don't know what you're doing, but you're doing it. These plug channels, like I said, these fan pages be doing this shit so I can react to it so they can post it and shit. And like eat and shit. But I don't be doing that shit. But look. So she said I've been to her house. Why not? Okay. I personally have a connection with him. <laughs> Your time has come. <laughs> hey, I'm with you. Time. Come on. What's up, God? Hey, hey. Now y'all see what I'm talking about? Respect. Put some respect on my name. You see how I was talking? I made plenty of videos about him. Plenty of videos. I should be a damn shame. But anyways, baby, he got the views and he got and he got subs too. Okay, so anyways, but look how he responded. Look how he responded. That shit was fun. That's why I said anybody was to say I was cloud chasing, it would be him. And he not, he did not once call me a B. All right, guys, I'm back. I'm about to do an unboxing. I told y'all in another video that I went to go pick up mail and, and some packages and stuff like that. So anyways, I got those packages right now and I'm about to unbox them. Now, I'm not for sure if these are from a company that wanted a, a sh quick shout out or if these are gifts. I don't know. So we'll see as we open them, okay? Anyways, this is a, oh, uh, this pack is all dirty. I don't know why, but it's from, this is from um, Amazon, as you can see, with the Amazon packages. So let's go ahead and open this. Let's see what this is. I'm trying to see. Oh, it's a gift, I think. Oh, it's a gift from Carlotta. It says, special friend Justine, your friendship is a special gift that I treasure every day. Hope you all, hope you'll always know that I care for you more than words can say. Love you, girl. Always, Carlotta, J Ryder for life. Oh, thank you, Carlotta. That is so sweet. So this is a gift from Carlotta. Let me open it and see what it's about. Man, I appreciate y'all. Um, let me see. Oh, it's like a plaque. See how it's like clear? Hold on, let me see what it say. To my friend, I tr a tr Sorry, let me let me start. I love you know how I get can't read sometimes. To my friend, a truly great friend is hard to find, difficult to leave, and impossible to replace. Aww. You are irreplaceable. You are one of those people who make my life better just by being in it. Thank you for being such an inspiration. Love the one who needs you. Love the one who needs you to the end. 
this is so I'm putting this up in my closet next to my um perfumes and stuff. Oh, I really like this. See, it's clear. Oh, thank you so much, Carlotta. You such a sweetheart. You really are. You are very thoughtful. You are such a sweetheart. You are always there. Like when I say I'm going through something, you send me a card. You are really sweet, and I appreciate all your wonderful gifts. Thank you. And I appreciate you thinking about me. This right. Oh, this is from Miss D. So I already know this is a gift from Miss D. Because Miss D, she's one of the one of a, uh, the big supporters too. So I'm trying to see how I'm gonna open this. So I don't wanna try to puncture it, but I don't wanna tear up nothing. I think it's something for Kai. Hello, Justine. This is Miss D. It's been a while. I am just returning back to the States. I was in Costa Rica with my new boo. Okay. Am I supposed to be reading this? <laughs> I had Christmas gifts for you all, but I may have to send them later on before this Christmas. Okay. I did come across two shirts for my baby Kai. Tell my rich and Kai say hello. And remember, don't wait too long to go to the post office or they will send it back to me. The address to the address of one of my business. I may be moving out of the country, not sure, but I miss and love you all, and I'll be sending you and my Risha and Kai some gifts. So watch for them. Oh, thank you, Miss D. Miss D got her a boo. She is not playing. Okay. I figured this was for Kai because look, Sonic. Uh-huh. So yeah, I'm giving these to my Risha or oh, Kai might be coming over this weekend, so I may just keep him over here till he get here. I don't know yet. I might just take it over there or I might just wait till he come. come. Thank you so much, Miss D. You know, Kai's like Miss D baby, okay? She is the one that bought him, um, got him that tablet. The tablet he loves so much. All right, y'all, I got a big one. I got a big box. <laughs> Ooh, let's see what it is. I got a big one. Let me see if there's anything else in here. Okay, what well, else? No, nothing else up in there. Look at this box. <laughs> it's like it's damaged, it went through one. It looked like it went through it. Hold on. Okay, a box inside of a box. Oh, I hate that noise. something. I hope ain't nothing broke. Did y'all hear that rattling? Y'all heard that? I hope it ain't nothing broke. Oh, what is that rattling? Yeah, it's broke. It was another glass. Maybe it was another glass. The bottom of it broke. Maybe I can super glue it because it's not like it's broken a million pieces. And that's what the end was damaged on that end too. So I might can, I might can just hot glue it or something. Oh. Why do they do this? 
That's why stuff like this should be fragile. And then look how dusty and stuff it is. See that? Well, the other one didn't even come. The, the other one's so crystal clean. Let me see the other one. Is it the same glass? Yeah, it looks the same. I'm gonna clean them both out. But yeah, this is, look, it stands up and everything. It's just that parts of the bottom is broken. Oh, wow. That sucks. Um, yeah, I'm gonna see if I can super glue it because I do have super glue. I'm a doctor on it. Thank you so much for the gift. I'm sure it's the same person that sent the other one. Oh, I hate that it's broke. But I heard it, I heard it. Like stuff like this, they should have fragile written on the package. They really should. I'm gonna put it upside down. I'm gonna try to doctor on it. Cause I don't wanna break, up, break it. That's it, that's all that was on there was another little piece. I think that was it, just broke that little piece. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you for the glass, another glass. I appreciate it so much. It sucks that it broke. Oh, that's how it is. The post office don't care. Or, you know, just handle stuff. They should have the word fragile on there. Oh, that sucks. Anywho, thank you guys for all the wonderful gift. I appreciate it. Um, if you want to send something, again, my, uh, PO box is down in the description box. You can send a give if you got a business and you want a quick little shout out, go ahead and send it to that address. I don't mind supporting. Uh, I've been supporting a lot of business on this channel. So um, I just want to say thank you guys and I appreciate y'all so much. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, okay? Also, don't forget to hit that bell button so you can be notified of every video I upload. And if you just subscribed, welcome to the J-Riders family. I love each and every one of you guys. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.